Hey there YouTube, this is uh, Jesse with Permofit. I just wanted to give you a quick update on uh, my plants. My cucumber didn't make it. The root rot was just too extensive, did too much damage. There wasn't enough plant left to survive. It withered away and pretty much just dried up into a little stick. <laughs> so, uh, food for thought, catch root rot early and um, there's, there's some procedures you gotta follow. I'm not gonna list them all here, but you can recover your plants from root rot from what I understand, as long as you catch it early enough. But anyways, I still have some uh, plants going. I got pepper plants and I have uh, my tomato. So I'll show you those guys real quick. Now keep in mind, I was gone for a few days on the weekend. And if you watch my uh, last video, it was uh, me jumping on a trampoline. So anyways, uh, these are really overgrown, but my tomatoes, let's see if I can block some light here, are starting to produce some flowers. The, uh, the bell peppers, on the other hand, are not. Now, I let the water, the water end up getting down. It was about two and a half liters low, so I had to refill this thing, and the plants are basically recovering. If you look here, I had to trim some of this and stuff because like this guy here, just dried out. So the plant was essentially, let's see if I can zoom in here. The plant was essentially trying to save itself by cutting off extremities, and things like that. So anyways, I'm back and I uh, refilled the reservoir. I'm gonna end up changing this, this uh, three gallon bucket out for something a little different. I'm going to change out the area I'm working on. I'm working on a shelf here, which is not much space. And I'm actually going to switch it to a smaller shelf that sits lower so I have more height to grow for my grow lights. Um, I uh, ended up picking up a, uh, as you can see, it's pretty much where my setup is. The uh, I ended up picking up a uh, another bulb. This guy here is, let's see if I can show it here, is a daylight bulb. It's another 300 watt CFL, but unlike this guy, this is uh, the cool 20, I think it's like 2500K. Uh, this other one is 6500K, um, so a lot brighter, but it's a mogul style bulb. So I had to get a uh, mogul base for it. And this mogul base, you wire in directly to some wires. So I'm gonna have to do some wiring and some changing some stuff around. I could not find a mogul to, um, to standard base anywhere in town. And, uh, and I didn't feel like ordering one online. But I did find this one. Uh, as you can see, this is this is the mogul deal. You wire your 110, uh, if you're in the US, you wire your 110 here. And then this guy here comes out and actually screws on to the base here, there and there, for support, because it's a big, it's a big heavy base. And this is uh this is like uh, the non-conductive ceramic. So this this guy's pretty heavy duty. And then the threads are ginormous. You know, it's this thing's about as big as a as a, like one of these 100 watt CFLs, you know? So anyways, um, I'm thinking about growing some strawberries here. Um, and I'm probably gonna go to soil for the strawberries. I don't know, I'm not decided on that just yet. Um, and then I'm gonna, um, in this spot here, I think I'm actually gonna grow some lettuce. And we'll just see how that goes. So otherwise, this is uh, my update. I wanna keep it kinda short. Um, see, I'm over four minutes now. So uh, give me a shout out and uh, make any suggestions. Uh, otherwise, uh, that's it for now. Thanks.